In this cheat layer review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this automation tool. Cheat layer lets you build white label automations with no code tools and open AI machine learning. Once you've logged in, you'll come over to the dashboard. Here we can see we've got instructions to install the Google Chrome extension. So if we just click on there, that'll take us over to Chrome Web Store. And there we can obviously install this. So I'm going to be using Amazon as an example today. Once you've pinned the cheat layer extension, you just click onto it. And once we hover over products, we can see that we've got this little box and it also says add to cheat. So if I click on to add to cheat, this takes us over to this page. We can choose our selector type. It's obviously automatically set to CSS selector. But we've also got the options of attributes, XPath, and action recorder. We can also choose the type of action from scrape to Google Sheets, scrape to Google Docs, create event, print to console, OCR image to text, object detection, sentiment analysis, run code on tab, click link button, send to webhook, get data Google Sheets save variable, set value, download file, set inner text, key press, hover, scroll, save to cloud, screenshot, AI generator, and PDF parser. So first I'm gonna use the print to console action if I just click on there. So as we can see now that we've selected print to console, this box shows up. And if I just go ahead and click on print to console, it's highlighted our disk and it's brought it over to this section here. You'll also notice we have this file section here. If we click on there, we have a few options. We have new, new folder, export cheats, import cheats, run, save, save as, and GPT-3 code generator. So if I was to select new, so we've selected new, that just makes a new console output. We also have new folder. If say I wanted to be organized and have everything organized in specific folders, then I could go to new folder and I could just title this folder name and go ahead and click OK. We also have some options at the very bottom of the right hand side. We've got website, which obviously just takes us to the website we're on now. We have code. So if I click on there, then that brings up the script. And then there's also the option for no code. If I wanted to reselect something with cheat layer, then I'll just refresh the page, bring up the cheat layer tab, hover over the product I'd like, go on add to cheat. And here I've got that options menu again. So if I go ahead and go on action recorder, and so this will record all our mouse scrolling, anything we type on the keyboard, it's going to record all of that. And then if I go ahead and click on code, we can see the code there for us scrolling with our mouse and clicking on the keyboard. If we also go on no code, we can see that as actions from scrolling to pressing on the keyboard, pressing on the keyboard to more pressing on the keyboard. If I wanted to save this specific automation, then I could go on file and just go on save. Now clicking on save should take us over to a page where we can just add it to a folder and set the name. But unfortunately, I am having some problems with this and it just seems to be loading. If say we wanted to pull some data, and add it into Google Sheets or something like that. Then we can go onto Cheat Layer, select what we want to select, go to Add to Cheat, and click on Scrape to Google Sheets or Google Docs. So once you've clicked on Scrape to Google Sheets, all you have to do is put in your Google Sheets URL into there, make sure the sheet name is matching, and then you would go over to File and click Run. Obviously before all this, you need to sign in with Google. And that's everything I'm going to go through today. That being said, there is a whole array of different features that can be played around with. So overall, what did I think of Cheat Layer? Well, there's no denying that this is a very powerful tool for building white label automations without having extensive coding knowledge. Unfortunately, as a layman, I just don't know much about this topic, so at times was pretty confused. I did also have some issues with trying to save the automations, and I'm not sure if maybe this needs to be looked into. However, in conclusion, I think this is a fantastic tool for those that know what they're doing. I would definitely recommend. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.